Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you once again for joining me and watching my videos. Nestled in the remote beauty of Lassen County in northeastern California, the small town of Susanville and nearby Eagle Lake sits in the state's most lesser known but active seismic zones. And yesterday on December 26th at 4.41 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Residents were reminded of this when a magnitude 5.0 earthquake, which was revised by USGS to a 4.7, struck just nine miles north northwest of Susanville. Stick with me. I'm going to give you some more details about this earthquake and the probability of a larger one coming sometime in the future. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. I want to wish everyone a very happy and blessed new year. And I humbly ask everybody to subscribe. Thank you. This earthquake rattled windows, knocking items off shelves, and sending mild tremors as far as Sacramento and Reno, California. While no major damage or injuries were reported, the event was widely felt. It echoes the region's long history of ground-shaking activity. This recent event occurred in the Walker Lane Seismic Belt, a complex zone of right lateral strike slip and extensional faulting east of the famous San Andreas Fault Zone. This is all related to the movement, the slow sideways slide between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. The area's faults are diffused, as they call it, leading to frequent small earthquakes, but occasionally stronger ones. The most powerful earthquake in this location in recorded history remains the June 20th, 1889 earthquake, which happened 135 years ago, often called the Eagle Lake earthquake, estimated to be have been uh, probably a magnitude 6.2. They don't have an exact location, but it was somewhere between Eagle Lake and Susanville, which is down over here. Yeah, there was a lot of damage. People ran out of their homes into the streets. Chimneys toppled. Uh, there was a lot of scared people. It was considered a remote frontier town, Susanville. So I don't have reports about how many people were injured. But Eagle Lake actually dropped two feet in elevation. And the water became um, like a milky white in color. Light shaking from that earthquake was probably felt, well, probably about 300 miles away. USGS has 330 people that sent in reports that they felt it. And USGS gave it an intensity level of 5, which means it was a moderate earthquake felt by nearly everybody. Some may have been wake, woken up if they were taking a nap or sleeping. Um, some dishes, windows were broken. Unstable objects uh, probably fell off and overturned. Pendulum clocks um, would have stopped, maybe. For some reason, USGS doesn't have the actual felt report on their felt report map. They just have um, blue lines drawn out for how far it was reported. Looks like it was pretty far north. Sad to say, only one report was sent in to EMSE. Said big shake and rumble. Pictures moved on the wall. That came from Susanville. There has been um, several four ruptures for the Honey Lake Fault Zone in uh, the past time when humans have been around. And here you can see the Honey Lake Fault Zone drawn out. And the Northern Walker Lane Fault Zone, which goes down, you know, kind of like in the location of Susanville. This fault zone is capable of having a 6.5 or a 7.0 earthquake. And very little research has been done on the faults in this location and how often they happen. Could have another one, a large one, you know, tomorrow or even a thousand years from now. You just don't know. But it is a reminder for people to be prepared for a large event. This 5.0 or 4.7 as it was revised to probably did happen on the Honey Lake Fault Zone. And USGS is reporting three aftershocks, a magnitude 2.1, a 2.3, and a 2.5.
this is a good opportunity to prepare your earthquake preparedness kits. Um, strap things to the wall. Make sure heavy objects are bolted to the walls. Make sure your emergency kit is uh, yeah, fully stocked. And have a plan. If you're separated from loved ones, know where you're going to meet each other. So that's all I have for you right now. Um, if you felt this earthquake, please put your comments down below. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.